This slip is empty. I gotta call KG. KG, what I up? I got nothing for you, Fox. Ah, come on. Jalen, you wanna tell? Yeah. Don't call somebody on live TV. Well, like you answered. I have other friends anyway. Marshawn, Barry, listen, I need some tips. I'm like LA. LA? No, no, Dallas. That's Dallas, not, Dallas, no, no, Dallas. Dallas? How about Detroit? Barry, I'm calling y'all right now. Vanessa. I got a tip for you. Always go with your gut. I like that. Let's go with our gut. Hey, this is Dave Weishadow from House of Cards with your House of Cards gaming report for the week of January 16th, 2023. The New York Gaming Facility Location Board voted to open the application process for downstate casinos. The application fee is $1 million and the board will review how many jobs the project will generate, the expected revenue of a property, and a commitment to contract with women and minority-owned business enterprises. This means that a casino in the New York City area is one step closer to becoming reality. Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Atlantic City has a new president. George Goldoff has been named as president of the Boardwalk property. Before coming to New Jersey, Goldoff was the president of the Hard Rock in Cincinnati. Mike Sampson, who has been serving as the interim general manager of the resort, will become the new general manager of the property. And finally, a security guard at Pennsylvania's Valley Forge Casino Resort has been charged with the theft of $200. On December 31st, an envelope with the money inside was accidentally left at the casino's front desk. An employee gave the envelope to the casino security unit. It was at this time when the unnamed guard allegedly took the money that was inside the envelope. The security guard was later apprehended by state police. Not a good way for the year to start off. Have any news or tips regarding casinos, gaming, or legislation? Send us an email at newsroom at houseofcardsradio.com and follow us on Twitter at HOC Radio.